partial greatness is celebrated and total greatness is shunned. There stands to be a figure on the lips of those who love him and those who hate him. The inane comparisons to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant continue and has existed since 2003. There is no end in sight for the battle between those who unconditionally love and unconditionally hate him wages on. These are their stories. Welcome to the Bronze Sexual Confessions. I nearly went to jail. What? You hear what I said? Why? This even happens to my wife. This happened. Say the words. It's not a conversation with a brown sexual. Moreover, my wife had a conversation with a brown sexual, and I nearly clotheslined this blank blank. Let me do something. This is you right now. I'm getting too old for this. That's definitely me. Because I am getting too old for this. <laughs> Victor, what you mean? A bronze sexual said the wrong thing to my wife. When Jody and I were sitting down talking, cutting up, having fun. Victor, you know that situation you went through with the guy that had the the car wrapped in you-know-what? Well, the fellow that could have passed for that that could have passed for him, he found us. Only I didn't try to beat him with a roasted chicken. I tried to beat him with my bare hands. When he said, God help us, quote, I don't know why you're sitting around talking about that has been. Close quote. You know what I got to say? Now, before I provide a response, my sir, my sir, you know what I got to say to that? I know what I got to say, and it's this. So I realize that I think, it, even though it's not advertised, right? there has to be a place for stupid people. We don't know, because we're not stupid, so we don't know anything about it. It's like a secret club society. Oh, my gosh. So I've come to the conclusion that he graduated from SU, Stupid university. Yeah, get all the all the stupid ass letters that go along with graduating <laughs> high honors of being stupid. I can't do no more, man. Dominos, dominos, vominos. Stupid university. Where everyone graduates. Magna cum stupid. I got something to say. Oh, no. You know what I got to say, Brian? What's that? What? Nobody got time for that? I'll huh? say it again. Ain't nobody got time for that. And, 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 oh, hell no. I want to read a little something here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Larry Bird, quote, I would never call him the best player I've ever seen if I wasn't serious. Close quote. Magic Johnson, Hall of Famer, by the way. Quote, there's Michael Jordan, and then there's the rest of us. Close quote. Allen Iverson, Hall of Famer. 
Mike is the GOAT. Mike will always be the GOAT. Shaquille O'Neal, Hall of Famer. The last dance only solidified the argument about who was the greatest player of all time. Sir Charles, he didn't just want to beat his opponents, he wanted to break them. Like I said, no disrespect to Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, LeBron James, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain. The best thing I've ever seen is Michael Jordan, and it was an honor and a privilege to play against him. He is the best player I've ever seen. Dwayne Wade, Hall of Famer. MJ was chosen to be the GOAT. Jerry West, the late, great Jerry West, Hall of Famer. He is the best player, the best athlete I've ever seen in my life. Kevin Garnett, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. He saved basketball when basketball was about to be lost. When we had addicts, when kids were coming to camp overweight, who do you think started coming to camp fit and ready for day one? Who started it? Hall of Famer Dirk Nowitzki. The last dance was ex excellent. I was a huge fan, a huge Bulls fan in the 90s. So many things I never knew or had forgotten. MJ is the GOAT. Patrick Ewing. One of my first favorite players and a Hall of Famer. LeBron is incredible, but he is not Michael Jordan. Vince Carter. Whoops. I still have to give it to Michael Jordan. Hall of Famer, Akeem Olajuwon. When people start comparing LeBron to Jordan, it's not a fair comparison. Jordan was a much more superior player in a tougher league. He was very creative. That doesn't take anything away from LeBron because he is a great player, but it's not a fair uh, comparison. Jordan is just so superior. Stefan Marbury, you really want to rank Jordan? Jordan shouldn't even be a ranking. I don't know why they keep mentioning MJ's name in the same conversation. LeBron is great, but Jordan is not from this earth. He's just different. Now, why did I read all of that, you ask? I read a total of... I read a total of 13 quotes. You're muted, Droid. Because nobody... And I'll repeat that is better than Jordan. I just read 13 quotes here. 10 of them were by Hall of Famers who played who uh, 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 a couple of those Hall of Famers. Well, one of them, Jerry West, no longer with us. But all of the Hall of Famer quotes that I read had a chance to see MJ do his thing. Some of those Hall of Famer quotes that I read had a chance and the privilege and the honor to play against him. There is no other than Michael Jordan. And if you actually think that there is someone else, then I'll allow the bishop to close this out. As Droid pointed out earlier, sometimes I just feel like saying, I'm getting too old for this. Now we're even. Sometimes I just want to tell people stop the cap when it comes to MJ. And I also want to tell them they didn't watch basketball. And now for a musical interlude, we provide a selection from the Wonder Bread Tabernacle Choir entitled Stop Smoking. <laughs> If you think the NBA has a chance with LeBron as your king, you fool! If you think the NBA has a chance with LeBron being the face still, you fool! If you think LeBron was ever the face of the NBA, and I'm talking about from 2003 until now, you fool! And you're taking a big fat... <laughs> Oh, 
LeBron's not a has been. He never he was and never was because his game is Booty! And if you think it's better Matter of fact, you know what we need to do? We got to pause that. I actually had that bronze sexual, that same bronze sexual, and not only ask, you know, why are we talking about these has beens, but why are we mentioning LeBron in the same pantheon of greatness? And why are we mentioning MJ? I beg your pardon, the same pantheon of greatness as, as, as LeBron. I said simple because LeBron's been far more superior and far more better. Well, he doesn't have the all well, well, Michael doesn't have the all time scoring record. He didn't need it. He didn't need it. His look told me this. Why the f- you lying? Why you always lying? I said, that's no lie. That's fact. By the way, you know what a really, you, you know what really does it for me? He says, what's that? I can't, you can't find a stat that he didn't excel, that LeBron hasn't excelled in. Yes, I can. Three point field goals. You know the year that uh, that uh, Michael averaged thirty seven points a game, which happened to be nineteen eighty seven, by the way. You know how many three point field goal attempts he took that entire season? A dozen in eighty two games. And oh, by the way, he did something LeBron has never done: three thousand points in a season. He also did something in nineteen eighty eight that LeBron has never done and never will do: DPOY. What does that stand for? Defensive Player of the Year. So if you think LeBron is superior to MJ in all the ways that you think, bitch, please. Oh, I I I, I was hovering over that for a minute now. <laughs> and you know what I party. say to Bron sexuals like that? Bitch, are you for real? That too. That too. Now this. This moment of bronze sexual stupidity is brought to you by Hooked on Bronix. When you start talking like an idiotic bronze sexual, Hooked on Bronix can set you right. Call 1-800-YOKAY! All right, real LJP, now I approve all this. One more time for those of you in the cheap seats at the old Richfield Coliseum. This moment of bronze sexual stupidity is brought to you by Hooked on Bronix. When you start talking like an idiotic bronze sexual, Hooked on Bronix can set you right. Call 1 800 YOK! All right, real LJP, now I approve all this. To you, bronze sexuals. Stop it. Get some help. Please. Now get out of our face, you thirsty bitches. In a world where logic and sense flies completely out the window, while purple and yellow glasses are done. Hold on a minute. Hang Ball on. start. Ball Offense. start. Offense. I'll decline it. Dear bronze sexuals. You, <laughs> dear bronze sexuals, on top of bronze sexuals, f- you. Shane's dead. Dear social media for hyping up bronze sexuals, which hype up LeBron. F- you, dear ESPN for putting Braun on and shoving him down our throats and up our asses for twenty-two years. F- you, f- you, f- you, and f- you. Oh, and this is how we end the show. Okay. Now get out of my face, you thirsty bitches. In a world where logic and sense flies completely out the window, while purple and yellow glasses are donned, rises a figure who. Hold up. And in case you didn't hear what I said, 
you, you, and you, Bronze Sexuals. Roughing the flopper, personal foul. So I ain't rough him up yet. Can we get into this? Now get out of my face, you thirsty bitches. In a world where logic and sense flies completely out the window, while purple and yellow glasses are donned, rises a figure who encourages ridiculous, undying loyalty. Good lord, I'm about to throw up. Hello. Oh my. I want to get out of here. False start. Offense. Okay, we're out of here. I'm going to go. In a world where logic and sense flies completely out the window, while purple and yellow glasses are donned, rises a figure who encourages ridiculous, undying loyalty. Good lord, I'm about to throw up. This has been yet another installment of The Bronze Sexual Confessions. Oh, I was Bye. about to call. I was about to call Father O'Shaughnessy because, because yes, LeBron. yes, LeBron, it is you. It has always been you. It always will be you, forever and ever. Amen. Have a great Please. day. God bless. Remember to make your next move your best move, and always remember: if your dreams don't scare you, they're simply not big enough. Dream big, do bigger. We are, and we hope you all are too. Now we're out of here. See you tomorrow. And as I said, bronze sexuals, f- you, f- you, f- you, and I repeat, f- you. And just remember, everybody, if you thought your football team was bad, just be glad you don't have a 38-day-old Mayo as a head coach. See you later. <laughs>